All right, hello everybody again. This is Michael Cishan, the Chief Marketing Officer here at One Cosmos. I'm here again with Mike Engel, our uh, co-founder and Chief Strategy Officer. Mike, welcome to the blog. Thanks for having me again. Awesome. Well, um, today we're going to talk about FIDO. FIDO has been in the news. The Fast Identity Online um, Alliance uh, has released some uh, new capabilities or a new spec, if you will. Can you talk a little bit about what that news uh, what consisted of? Yeah, I think taking just a, a 10 second step backwards, um, FIDO, Fast Identity Online, was formed in 2013 by a bunch of tech companies that came together with the goal of setting up standards on how you could get rid of passwords over time. Okay. So um, today there's like over 200 uh, tech and, and other service providers that are members. Um, the big announcement that came back on May 5th, I think it's International Passwordless Day or Password Day or something, was that it's going to be um, much easier for you to use your passwordless authenticator across different devices. Because one of the challenges with FIDO has been you can enroll and register it right here on this device or you know whatever device. But then when you go to a new device, you have to do that again. So uh, this is big news because it's going to kind of open up the door a bit for this to be used in, in a big way. Yeah, you get that. <laughs> OK. Um, so uh, I guess support across devices. So what does this mean for passwordless access? Is passwordless going to follow this or what are the implications for passwordless access? Well, you know, FIDO is the passwordless standard. So uh, what this means is the um, major tech providers, Google, Microsoft and Apple, the ones that made the announcement are going to build it into their systems to let your FIDO process be a little more uh, kind of open and, and transferable across your devices. And so the example they give is you could log into a Chrome browser on a Mac machine and log into an Apple website or you know, like all these different interoperability examples they give now. And so the experience will be soon, hopefully, you come to a website, it says, would you like to go password list? You say yes, and then you get to do that over and over again. Um, and I'm seeing more and more websites that are doing this in practice. So it's starting to get starting to get real. OK. All right. Well, I, I know when Cosmos is uh, certified to the, the FIDO2 standard, um, what what does this mean? Does does one Cosmos then support this new capability? We do. Yeah. So uh, out of the box, you can uh, basically drop our technology in there and have any website or service or operating system go passwordless. We, you know, in minutes, really. Nice. So um, that, you know, that's that's one of the big challenges is is people don't know how to embrace it. So they hear about it, but they don't know how to go about getting started. Right, right. Um, so I, I would imagine one day we're going to look back and wonder how we ever got, got by without this type of capability. But um, I just mentioned that when Cosmos is certified, what does that mean? What are the benefits of being uh, certified to the FIDO2 standard? Not just compliant, but certified. That's right. Yeah. So the FIDO Alliance will certify products to make sure that they adhere to the FIDO specifications. So anybody can go to the FIDOalliance.org and read all this and see who's certified and who's not. So by being certified, it enables organizations to ensure that they have something that's interoperable because you don't want to pick some siloed technology that is only, you know, you kind of get beholden to the vendor at that point. So interoper interoperability is key. So you want to pick somebody who's, you know, has a FIDO2 certified server is kind of the main standard that you want to follow these days. Gotcha. Okay. So um, what, if anything, does One Cosmos then provide over and above what, what FIDO2 kind of dictates or enables? Yeah, well, that the, the, the problem of your authentication being able to be used anywhere, even on the first touch, right? So as I mentioned, one of the challenges in years past has been, I can enroll it here, but if I go to my second computer somewhere, it's not set up there, I have to go set it up there. That usually needs a username and password again, right? So you kind of fall back to that lowest common denominator. Um, since day one, we've allowed you to have your authenticator be used anywhere. Uh, and we've, we call it kind of FIDO plus, uh, that's not an official standard. I don't want to get in trouble, but um, we make it really easy to use it on 150 different target systems. And um, the user experience then is the same across all of them. So if I walk up to a new Windows workstation or Mac mm -hmm. or come to a different website, 
I can use it out of the box on day one and I'll know exactly how to do that every time. Okay. All right. So then, um, you know, what's the, uh, I guess, what's the secret ingredient in getting password lists activated on more websites? Well, um, there's two different types of deployments. Typically there's when you do it for your employees within an organization, you can kind of tell them what to do. You give them something that's, that's awesome. They'll use it um, and make it part of the standard operating procedure. But with consumer or citizen facing services, mm -hmm. you have to lead them to water. You have to show them that it's awesome, prompt them to engage with it until everybody thinks it's as easy to do and knows it's as easy to do as, you know, looking at your phone and unlocking it. So, but we have something we call the developer experience, developer.onecosmos.com. With the press of a button, you can see exactly how to do it, how your developers would uh, download and install the code. And within minutes, they can actually try it right on the website. So making it easy for the developers to solve their problems is what we've been focusing on. And, and we've had uh, great success with that. Got it. Got it. So once again, I mean, it's, it sounds to me as if, you know, One Cosmos got on the FIDO track early, stayed on the FIDO track. And uh, now we're, I guess, somewhat reaping the benefits of that as these new uh, capabilities to that standard evolve. That's right. Exactly. One of the, the exciting developments will be the marrying of strong identity with that strong passwordless authentication. So the FIDO is working group. Are, they're working in that direction. Of course, we've been doing that since day one as well, where your real identity is linked to that passwordless experience. So you get uh, kind of a two for the price of one there, right? That's great. All right. Well, um, me not being a FIDO expert, I feel like I've covered all the points. Have we left anything critical out? No, no, I, uh, I think we've done it. So, um, you know, I encourage everybody to, to come over to developer.onecosmos.com and, and check it out and see how easy it can really be. That's great. Yeah, we put it right in the menu, right at the top for developers. So, all right, Michael, thank you very much. I appreciate your time today. You have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Take care.